Hello guys, so I'm back. This is the second video lesson on the Scratch programming language. So um, in this one here, I kind of want to do a little bit more than just say hello world. In this video lesson, I want to make this sprite move a little bit and maybe play some sounds. So um, what I basically want to do is get this sprite to move over all the way to the edge of the window and then once it reaches the edge of the window I want it to move all the way back to it reaches the edge here of this window and to keep doing this forever okay so let's go ahead and get started with this and first we need our, our sorry our event so when it when we click our flag we want to start and I want it to play a sound immediately so I want to say meow let's go ahead and give that a test so it says meow now. Then I need to give it a direction. So I'm going to use this data here. Um, I'm going to create a variable. And I'm going to call it direction. And I'm going to do it well for all my sprites. Right now I only have one sprite. So we'll just do it for this sprite only. Okay. And let's, uh, hmm, this should not be here, so we probably need to get rid of that somehow. So let's see, hide variable direction. I like that. Let's do this, make that the first thing on the click. So now we don't see that. Okay, perfect. So now let's set that variable direction. And I want it to move forward, so I'm going to choose the value 10. So now let's give this a try. Okay. So can we tell if he moved? I can't really tell. Let's try something like 50. Uh, oh, well, we set the direction, but we haven't moved him yet. Of course, I uh, apologize for that. This is just a variable. We're setting it to 10. So now we need to uh, get it to move. So in order to do that, we need to go to motion and move and we will use the direction variable instead of the number 10. Um, so let's go ahead and get this try first with just the number 10. Perfect, now we see that the cat's moving every time I press uh, the green flag. Okay, so now I wanna use this variable direction instead of the number 10, and let's try. Okay, so we get the same thing. Uh, but now we can change this variable which makes it a little bit more flexible and I don't want it to move over every time I click this flag I just want to do it forever so I need some type of a loop so we're gonna go to control and I need a forever loop and I'm gonna put it here so now we're gonna move in that direction forever okay but you see it stopped and it's actually still going so every time I put it back it is looping forever but um, I want it to stop when uh, when I or when it hits this wall here so I need to put a if condition in this forever loop here so let's see if here we go so if we need to sense the wall so if um, this sprite is touching the edge so this would be the edge the wall then mm, then we're not going to do anything we're just going to stop for now and right now it's going to move in that direction forever so let's see so we still get a similar result so we need to change this a little bit. So let's take this out, take this uh, this right here out. Let's put it in here. So now, if we're touching the edge, then we want to change the direction. So it goes here, we're touching the edge. Then we want to change our direction to go backwards. So we need to 
see which direction we're in. So we're going to need another uh, control if statement. Here we go. So now we need to see if our direction is equal to 10, then we need to change that to make it negative 10 so it can go backwards. So let's see, I need some operators here. So if I'm going to put this equal there, go back to our data. So if our direction, that yeah, didn't go in, there we go. If our direction is equal to 10, because we set it to 10 here, then I need to change or set my direction to negative 10. Else it's not equal to 10, so it's probably equal to negative 10, then I need to set my direction equal to 10. Okay. And let's see, and I still want to move in that direction. All right, and so let's give this a try. There we go. So now we can see that we, he's going back and forth forever. Pretty cool. So that's a pretty nice animation there. Nothing too complicated, but it's pretty cool that you could do this with um, a little knowledge of this programming language and through just drag and drop. So this language is pretty cool. So thank you guys. Um, I need to give this program a name before I end it here. So I will call it uh, Scratch Loop. And I will save it. OK, so it's saved. And of course, I will put a link to the code below. In so make sure you guys um, uh, have a link to this code here. All right, guys. Well, thank you, and I'll see you all in the next video lesson.